What is up, guys? How are you guys doing? Mooney cars in the building, man. Um, I don't know what to say, but it's been a while since I last did a video. And right now, I'm on my way to Helping Hands of America and see what they have there. Um, it's um, 40 degrees right now in Rhode Island. And we are moving. I'm actually... Um, on the highway toward um, Massachusetts. Um, that's gonna be like 25-inch, um, 30 minutes drive tops to get to the car lot. So um, let's get there and see what they have and then we shoot the video and hopefully you guys get it, you know, on time. But um, it's gonna be a, a very, 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 very new video. I can promise you guys that. So let's head out there and see what they have for us, okay? All right. So as I told you guys, I'm here, man. Today is March 9, Saturday, and I'm here at the lot. This is it, man. Not too much to go through, so I'm gonna go through it quick and quick and quick and quick. So let's jump into it with the first one. Next is of um of Frontier. This is a Nissan Frontier. This is the rival of the Toyota Tacoma. This is Nissan's uh, mid-size truck. Nissan's full-size tr full truck would be the Titan. This one looks like the six-foot bed, so this is the long one. Let's walk around. So this is the LE. This is not the Pro 4X. This is not the um, their TRD version. So Toyota has the TRD Pro, the TRD Off-Road. Nissan has the Nismo. And they have the Pro 4X. That's Nissan's um, very good tires, by the way. Let's take you guys inside. Um, the seats are not in the perfect. They are not um, the prettiest. But the leather is holding up. This is how it looks. We have sunroof. Um, I, want, I, I, for one, I really don't like the six foot bed trucks i left the five foot bed I look, to me if it looks it looks okay with a five foot bed if it goes up to a six well i feel it's too long parking and everything but for those of you who use it for work truck and all of those stuff i think it will be the perfect one for four. this is a 2010 frontier all right um yep it's equipped with four wheel drive there's no mileage on the dash because the key is not in it I'm not going to get the key. You have the chrome on the wheel, on the um, the mirrors, the view mirrors. You have the bug deflector, which is nice. This should be a 4.0 V6. It goes for $9,650. Let's go ahead and um, pop the hood and show you guys what's going on there. Oh, I see a Mercedes. I am going there. I see a Mercedes it's cold guys it's um it's 37 degrees my hands are freezing this is a 4.0 liter v6 um this this engine um i don't know if it's durable enough okay but i know nissan been using this engine for a very long time with their v6s so the v6 been using the 4.0 for a very long time so let's go ahead and check out another vehicle so next is a range rover a Land Rover Range Rover, however you want to call it, this is the same company. Um, this one has um, aftermarket stuff called Strut. I don't know what that is. Comment in the comment section if you know what that is. It goes for five thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. Let's walk around. So right off the quarter panel here, you can tell that it's some, something happened here. Of course, it was bundled up. Not a perfect job, but they sprayed some weird paint on it. Um, they did some blackouts, some smoke it on tail lights. They smoked the tail lights out. Uh, let's see if we can open this trunk. It's a slope. All right, so it has the the um, two ways um, opening. You open it both ways, up and down. This is how it looks from the back. What do we have here? I am cold, guys. We have a rim. My hands are freezing. I'm about to pause this video and put my hands in my pocket for a while. And then you know come back but let's go ahead and um show you guys in this one um it's not bad 
what here is this i don't know right now i like the color of the the seats though it's not holding up but it is what it is there you have it um dual climate zone in the back um We have power, um, 153,000 on the miles. Let me go ahead and pop that hood. Um, dual zone climate control, manual um, or analog clock in the middle. Um, height control, everything is right down here. Your various drive modes, everything is right here. And let's go ahead and see, let's climb in it. Uh, okay. All right, it's climbing this rover. It's actually been a while. Can this thing open? All right. Oh, wow, it opens really, really, really wide. It open wide. Let's see what here is this. Can we see? I'm sure we can tell us. It doesn't say. Let's see the main book. It still doesn't say. Let's see the back no it doesn't say so this one is from actually from rhode island so it was bought here it's from a range rover dealer out here um i got the whole pop already so let's see this is a 2010 okay you can tell it's a 2010 it says it um battery low that's the message on the dash okay i see a chevy um equinox I'm gonna look at it a little bit. Um, hold up, let me try and open this thing and then we'll come back to the video. So, yep, there you have it. This is um, Range Rovers. This looks like a V8. Yep, this is a V8. Um, this is it, how it looks. So let's go ahead and look at another one. So first on my list is a Chevrolet Tahoe with the Santana push bar. You guess, I guess you know what that means. Let's take a walk around. So we have relatively new Michelin tires, okay? Very clean tires. You can tell it's a old um, decommissioned cup car. So you still have the lights and I don't know if the sirens are on it, but um, I doubt if it's on it, but this, um, the lights are still there. Okay, it comes with a spare, um, though it's broken, um, what's the name of it, view mirror, that should be for the passenger side, okay, it's actually my first time, um, being up close and personal with the Tahoe PPV, I've always, um, I came across the, the, um, police interceptor, which is the Ford, the Explorer, so, um, Okay, I guess this view, this view is better. Let me know which one is better. Um, this one, the zoom one, this is um, 1X or 0.5X. But I guess this one is better for getting the entire um, car. So this one definitely is a V8. So you have uh, matching Michelin tires all around. Let's go inside. Okay, this one is not the one that comes with the cage, you know, and the, the hard plastic, very uncomfortable to sit in. I haven't, sit, I haven't sat in, in one but you can tell just by the looks of the one that has the plastic that is very very uncomfortable so uh real climate control in the back um let's move you guys over to the front a couple of scratch and scripts around nothing much um yeah you are so this is it 2014 tahoe or suburban they're the same just one is long and one is short one is a long wheelbase one is a short wheelbase so we have all the we have all the wiring and the connection the fuse and everything is still here um they were just yeah they were just um removed so if you have those components you can clip them back and i guess you can have those lights working as well so it goes for eight thousand four hundred and fifty dollars okay it took a hit right here you can tell nothing too bad um let's go ahead and take you guys in the driver's seat i do want to drive this one to be frank um but let's see how it goes 
there's still still many cars I have to review. I just came here, so um, it's not saying how many miles on the dash. You have the working um the working spotlight. It's still it's not in that perfect ship, but it's, it works. Um, it do work. So let's go and pop the hood and see. I guess it's the um. I my guess would be the five point the 5.4 or something like that that would be my guess uh let's see emissions control um a 2014 blah 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 5.3 liter so i went um a liter above it's a 5.3 with the vortex engine this engine is common with gm cars um it's a little bit wet here i can see okay these um coils are relatively new if i'm uh, i'm zooming a little bit you can tell that these coils you can tell that they are very new um some work was actually done around here um you you have the wheeling unit right here all the wirings and stuff still there um what else what else what else what else yeah, that's just about it. Um, you can tell the coils to coils coils will change on this side too. You can see that they're brand new. And that's just about it. So this is a 2014 Chevrolet Tahoe PPV. This is the police version. And let's go ahead and look at another one. So of course, you know, I have to I have to try the the Tahoe. Of course. I cannot come and see a PPV and then I don't try it. That's an understatement. So I got the key. It's cold, guys. I went and got my gloves. I thought I brought my jacket. Guess what? I did not. So, somebody locked this car? The hell? Why? It's crazy, yo. Huh? Why would you lock the car? All right. These guys, they do it all. They do it. They do this thing a lot here. They, they lock the vehicles because. They don't want anybody looking at it. Most times, people don't want to go in there. Sometimes. All right, so there it is. So, actually, I got in this one because I I I I, I want to try it. Okay, that's one. Um, 137,000 miles on the dash. No lights on the dash. Nothing. But I actually got in this car because I want I want real heat, okay? It is cold. It is very cold. So um, I'm gonna, of course we have um, four wheel drive. Okay, right now it's in two wheel. Um, I'm gonna play around a little bit of it, okay? get a little bit personal with it and then i'm gonna come back in another video let's try let's try the dome light does it work yep red yeah it works <laughs> yeah it does work um so let me um the tahoe is saying 32 degrees so you guys know how cold it is so um let me um let me heat up myself a little bit and then we will try the tahoe okay so let's take a look at this one. This one is on hold, so of course it wouldn't be open. Somebody has booked it. Somebody have I probably paid a down payment on it. This is the single cab. This is the shot, um, the shot wheel base. Um, it looks good. It says TRD off road. I don't know if it's actually a TRD off road or not. Of course it's going to be locked. And guess what? It's a manual transmission. So um, let's just walk you guys around it. They have the Lear bed cover. Very good, um, very good, strong and durable company with the bed covers. Um, yep, couple of pink peels all around. It's um, it's normal. Oh wow, they backed it up a little too close. Hopefully, this light don't get affected in the process. But let's go ahead and you have very good tires. By the way, make uh, let me say something. If you see any car. Um, you know, sometimes I might pass a car that you know you you wanted to uh, you wanted to see me on review, and I just didn't review it. And then you know, you can come in the comment section 
when I come back and that car is still here, I'm definitely going to check it out. This is a Corolla, probably um, a 2014 or something like that. This is this is on hold. Two, let's walk around quick. All right, somebody already. Okay, it's still open, so we can take you guys in it. Um, this is a 2014. My guess was actually right. Um, it needs hell of a cleaning. So this one comes. It came with the the manual radio without the touch screen and the um, reverse cameras so if you can upgrade if you want i see the sun visor sitting behind here okay yeah driver's visor is out this is another nice one too this is the optima okay this is um from the honor part something went wrong over there you have the panoramic sunroof okay I'm just gonna run over this line quickly. This one is not on hold, it's actually for sale, but it actually took a hit down here. As you can see, it took a hit. Um, hold up, let's see. Something's going on here. See, this place is wet. It's slow, I cannot go all the way down, but if you intend to buy this one, there's no price on it. I, um, my guess will be take it up to the garage. There's a garage right in the, in the yard, which makes it very easy. Put it on the lift and look at it and see if you see any you know signs of oil leak or whatever because it actually took a hit over there and um yep this is how it looks um the letter is all not uh, for i for one i don't like the black color in letter i feel that when it's getting old is it looks very bad it looks wear out it looks worn out it doesn't look good okay I prefer a cream leather interior than a black. I mean, that's my preference. And you will have yours. This is a regular Tahoe. This is a LT. This one is locked. So this is not the PV. PPV. This is a regular one. Um, this one goes for $1,250. Um, it says runs with spray. Possible fuel pump. So there's a possibility there's a fuel pump issue with this one. It's very cheap. $1,250. Somebody has put it on hold. And let's go ahead and check the other side of the lot. Next is a Chevy Equinox. What looks like an LTZ. I'm not too sure, but you see the chrome, you see the projector light, you see the um, fog lines. That's characteristics of an LTZ. $3,250 frame rot. Frame rot. It's evident here, you can see. Oh, this is bad. Oh, wow. Jeez, look at this whole this whole fender. It's actually see. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it. Um this is actually nice in terms of looks. I'm not sure if this is okay. This is the V6, so this is definitely the LTZ with all the chrome accents and stuff like that yep i said it it's the ltz unfortunately it's rusted up let's go ahead and see if we can get you guys down there and see something if you can see anything okay so this is it from the back um i'm actually going to take you guys in front okay let's go ahead and pop this hood i mean it's still expensive okay the hood strokes are not the best but it still it still holds up uh, this reminds me of my car so bad it reminds me of my 2010 so bad i mean i don't know if i told you guys the story about the chevy the chevy got totaled somebody ran in it um damaged it it got totaled um written off by the insurance company and we were we were paid for for it so pretty much how much we bought it we got it back after a year a year and a half two almost going two years so i'll call that a, um i will call that a gain so you can tell the guys were actually trying to save this thing to try sticking it together still it didn't work let's go ahead and take you guys under here at this point i can't see anything i'm showing you so hopefully you see what i'm talking about they say it's rusted up yeah but um for the most part of it if you buy this one, I mean, I still feel like it's still, I still um, say it's expensive. What here is this? 
the books with this is a 2013 you have the heated seats and stuff like that normally when you open the normally if the front door is open the um what's the name of it the gate the, the mileage comes up the mileage pops up once you open the door let's see yep a hundred and a hundred and ten thousand on the mouse this is the v6 i don't like the v6 and this one comes with the um oh yeah this one comes with the blind spot monitor the lane depart departure assist the um pre-collision warning and all of that this one comes equipped equipped with that feature um spot the hood yep this is the v the v6 the vvt direct injection the engine looks relatively clean to be frank and honest with you guys it looks dried um i think this engine will carry will go a little bit long it's a 36 v6 let's go ahead and show you guys something else yep that's me man a very big thanks man to everybody for watching my videos i'm so grateful to you guys um please comment like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber to this channel um consider subscribing to this channel let's grow this channel real quick let's let's go let's go like 500 man at least we start we stuck to 300 i know that's my fault i haven't been posting videos so it makes you guys feel like i'm not ready but hey i am so um thanks for watching this video once again and i'll see you guys again in the next one